Content Guru decided to partner with the HSJ because it's a prestigious organisation. Everybody reads the HSJ. This summit is a really important space for senior healthcare leaders to meet with each other and talk about the big problems or opportunities that the NHS is facing. We sponsored the event last year and we're very happy to be here again. I ran two IDG sessions and this year we had a silent disco <laughs> headsets which actually really enabled focused conversations about single point of access, how to simplify access for patient care and also opportunities for system-wide digital integration. A lot of the leaders brought different viewpoints from different points of the system across healthcare. I've been coming for a few years now, I always get value out of it. The NHS is changing always, but we've got a new government, so the 10-year plan is the focus of the day, what's going to be in that and what needs to change, because it's really in a difficult place and absolutely insightful feedback from economists, and directors of finance, from chief medical officers, the whole shebang really, and I've got real useful takeaway messages and really looking forward to see what comes next. We've been really pleasantly surprised that there is a huge amount of interest in not just talking about integration, but thinking about how you do it. Everyone talks about redesigning models of care, shifting from hospital to community-based delivery, but actually it's easy to say, quite difficult to do. Health Pathways is one of the foundations for making that change happen. So we were delighted to come and have those conversations with like-minded individuals. We were talking in large part around the leadership challenges that systems bring with them. We rely on our people to make the systems work. We're all fundamentally around improving patient care and improving outcomes. We've got such a lot of outcomes and outputs, such a variable and huge amount of inputs into the systems. So in the panel, we were talking largely on how do we make sense of all that? How do we try and reconcile the huge amounts of data and information coming in with meaningful outputs going out that translate into really good, measurable, tangible, useful patient outcomes. A lot of the challenges we see across the ICS is really around demand and capacity management. Lots of disconnects also in the data to help them understand how to address that. We see that in hospitals trying to capture up elective care, in mental health organisations around acute crisis management or ambulances trying to hand over. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to create those efficiencies by joining up some of that data so that actually they've got their operational views with their workforce views, making better plans for resources. This is quite a big challenge because there's a lot of demand out there, but also lots of flavour of where do we need to get to with things like health inequalities and doing better for children, population health management, all these strategic topics that we also need to address. This event is a great opportunity for engagement. It just gives you a great opportunity to speak to a lot of people over a diverse geography quite quickly. It's been great to connect with old friends, but actually, more importantly, for us to make some new ones too. And as always, the conversations in and around the conference have been absolutely first class. So it was good to remind ourselves of what a great set of committed people we've got. Already in the first coffee break, I've had a really good chat with an executive director of place from one of the ICBs that we wanted to work with. So yeah, value for money already.